The other day I was scrolling through Twitter and I came upon this tweet from MKBHD about the new Sony earbuds that unfortunately don't let him live out his dream of controlling PowerPoint presentations from his earbuds. This is a big problem and we need to fix it. So Marquez, this video is for you. We're going to walk through exactly how you control any Windows computer with any pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So I have the Sony WF-1000 XM4s here, but this would obviously work with the donuts as well. So how does it work? Well, anytime you double tap the side of your earbuds, you are sending a simple signal to your phone, tablet, or laptop that it then interprets as a skip track, for example. Similarly to the way that a keyboard would work on a computer. So right now I've got this website called keycode.info pulled up and I've got my keyboard in front of me. If I send a signal to the, to the computer, it then turns out as I hit the H key. Similarly, I could hit the fast forward button on my keyboard and it will go as a media track next, which is interpreted by Windows to then skip to the next track. Now, let's go ahead and plug in our Bluetooth earbuds and see what happens when we double tap them. So I'll refresh the page to clear it out. And now I'm going to double tap the side of my earbuds. That same key code is hitting through the computer. If I triple tap, now it's the media track previous. So all that your earbuds are doing is sending a signal to your computer that it's interpreting as a skip or previous track. This is good news for us because we're going to use a program called Auto Hotkey, which takes inputs from a keyboard or anything else and then converts that into some different signal for the computer. So I'll go ahead and install Auto Hotkey onto my computer. And once it's installed, it will be able to run any auto hockey script. So I'm going to write a simple script to take the media play pause button and convert it to whatever I want. So we'll go ahead and create a new auto hockey script. We'll just put it on our desktop and we'll call it PowerPoint control. Once we do that, we'll be able to open it and edit it using a notepad app. Now all we're going to do is take the media next, which is auto hotkey's way of understanding media track next and convert it to a page down. We'll save this file and we'll go ahead and open it from our desktop. Now we're going to go into any PowerPoint presentation. We'll go into presentation mode. And now if I double click my earbuds, it'll skip through the slideshow. There we go. Okay, let's add a page up in order to go back in the slideshow. We'll go back into the script and we'll go ahead and take media previous and we'll map it to a page up. Save. And let's go ahead and rerun the script. Go back into our PowerPoint presentation. Now, double tap to the next track, triple tap to the previous. <laughs> it's so useful. Now obviously this video was a little bit of a joke, but it does have a practical underlying lesson. You can take any sort of control you want, like that coming from a pair of earbuds, and convert it into anything else with a program like AutoHotKey. So I'd love to see some ideas down in the comments of cool different features you could add to your computer by using a simple input from a pair of buds. Maybe if you play certain video games, you could quickly add macros to your earbuds to do certain things that you don't have time to press on your keyboard. I don't know. There are a lot of options out there. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Thank you for watching NOISO. I hope you liked this quick video. If you did, be sure to like, get subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next one.